Hello everyone. In this chapter, chapter 4, Enzymes, you will learn about the biological catalyst that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed by the reaction. This chapter consists of 9 subtopics. Let us take a look at the learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, students should be able to explain how enzymes speeds up a chemical reaction by lowering activation energy, which is the energy that is required to start a chemical reaction. Learning objective number two is explain the mechanism of enzyme action of induced feed model and lock and key model. The third learning objective is explain the formation of the enzyme substrate complex, the complex that is formed when a substrate binds to the active site of an enzyme. The next learning objective is explain the four factors that affect the enzymatic reaction. The four factors are temperature, enzyme concentration, substrate concentration, and pH. Learning objective number five is explain the model of enzyme kinetics by using michaelis menten kinetic model, followed by line weaver buck plot, which is the double reciprocal plot of enzyme kinetics. Learning objective number seven is list the three types of cofactors, which are prostatic group, metal ion, and coenzyme. The next learning objective is discuss the mechanism of enzyme inhibition that consists of irreversible inhibition and reversible inhibition. Learning objective number nine is explain the allostric site, which is other site other than active site in an enzyme. The next learning objective is discuss how allosteric regulators that consist of inhibitors and activators control enzyme activity in a cell. Learning objective number 11 is least six classes of enzymes and explain the role of enzyme in industry and medicine. Last but not least, the 12th learning objective is discuss the importance and the main techniques. There are four main techniques of immobilized enzymes. Now we go to the first subtopic, subtopic 4.1, catalysis and concept of activation energy. Enzymes are proteins that fold into globular shape or into spherical shape. They can act as catalysts that speed up a chemical reaction. So during the chemical reaction, the enzyme is not consumed. It is not even changed or altered. After the chemical reaction is catalyzed, the enzyme can participate in the next chemical reaction. Enzyme speeds up a chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy barrier by four mechanisms. The first mechanism is by bringing two or more substrates together in a correct orientation by binding to the active site of enzyme. The atoms and bonds in the molecules of substrate will lined up and this will facilitate in bond breaking. The second mechanism how enzyme lowers activation energy barrier is by providing a more conducive environment. The active site of the enzyme produce a more conducive environment for the chemical reaction to take place. The third mechanism is by stressing and bending the bonds between the molecules and the substrates to their transition state. Transition state has more free energy compared to the substrate and product, thus it is least stable. So at transition state, the bonds, the old bonds are broken down and new bonds are formed and products can be produced. The last mechanism is by directly involved in chemical reaction with the substrate after the substrate binds to the active site of enzyme. So what is activation energy? Activation energy is energy that initiates a chemical reaction. It is an energy that can destabilize 
chemical bonds between the molecules of substrates and initiates a chemical reaction. The source of activation energy is typically heat from the surroundings. Molecules of substrates will absorb heat from the surroundings. When heat is absorbed, the molecules will collide more often. So when that happens, the bonds between the molecules are more likely to break. The atoms or molecules of the substrates are activated to a condition or to a state where physical or chemical transformation can happen. The lower the activation energy, the faster the chemical reaction is. So enzyme speeds up a chemical reaction by lowering activation energy, but it does not affect free energy. Free energy is energy that is available to do work. It is an energy that is available to break the bonds between the molecules and subsequently formed new bonds. So during the chemical reaction where enzyme lowers activation energy, free energy is not affected. Free energy does not change. This diagram shows the chemical reaction that happens between substrates and enzymes. Substrates will bind to the active site of enzyme. The shape of the active site of enzyme is slightly different from the shape of substrates. When substrates bind to the active site of enzyme, active site of enzyme will change its shape slightly so that the substrate can fit into the active site of enzyme. After the binding, enzyme substrate complex is formed. The enzyme will speed up the chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy, which is the energy that is needed to change the substrates into products. The substrates reach the transition state where it is least stable. So the old bonds between the molecules of substrates are broken down and new bonds are formed and products are now produced. The products can be seen to have different shape from the shape of the substrate. Once the products are produced, they will be released from the active site of enzyme and the enzyme can participate in the next chemical reaction. Let us take a look at this figure that shows the effect of an enzyme on activation energy. This plot shows free energy versus progress of the reaction. There are two curves here. The black curve represents reaction without enzyme. The red curve represents reaction with enzyme. Delta G represents change in free energy, which is the energy that is available to break the bonds in the reactants and form new bonds to produce the products. When the reactants absorb heat, which is the activation energy, the energy that initiates a chemical reaction, the molecules of the reactants will collide more often. The collision causes the bonds between the molecules to be more likely broken. So the reactants will then reach the transition state. Transition state has more free energy compared to the free energy of the reactants and products. Reaction without enzyme requires more activation energy. So the reactants will absorb more activation energy to reach the transition state. On the other hand, the reactants absorb only a small amount of activation energy in the presence of enzyme. This is because the enzyme lowers the activation energy and this speeds up the chemical reaction. Enzyme lowers activation energy, but it does not affect free energy. So change in free energy is not affected in the presence of enzyme. Next, we go to subtopic 4.2, mechanism of enzyme action based on lock and key model and induced feed model. We look at the first model, lock and key model. 
The lock is the enzyme, the key is the substrate. Only the correct key size fits into the keyhole of the lock. So in lock and key model, substrate has complementary shape with the active site of enzyme. The substrate can bind to the active site of enzyme. The binding forms enzyme substrate complex. When enzyme substrate complex is formed, the substrate reaches the transition state, the least stable state, where the old bonds are broken and new bonds are formed. When the new bonds are formed, the products are produced. The products have different shape from the substrate. The products will then be released from the active site of enzyme and the enzyme can participate in the next chemical reaction. The second model is induced fit model. In induced fit model, the active site of enzyme is not complementary to the substrate. The active site of enzyme is not completely rigid to feed the substrate. When substrate binds to the active site of enzyme, the enzyme will slightly change its active site so that it can fit the substrate. So when substrate fits into the active site of enzyme, the substrate is now in correct orientation with the catalytic groups on enzyme. Enzyme substrate complex is now formed. When enzyme substrate complex is formed, the substrate reaches the transition state. Transition state is the least stable state. So when it reaches transition state, the bonds between the molecules of the substrate break and new bonds are formed. When new bonds are formed, products are produced. The product has different shape from the substrate. Once the product is produced, the product will be released from the active site of enzyme and the enzyme will return to its original shape. The enzyme can then participate in the next chemical reaction.